Assalamualaikum ji. Welcome back to another episode of Kya Kya Kazi. My guest today was Hajra Khan. Hajra Khan is the captain of the football team. Uh, she's a prolific athlete. Or koi tarif karni? No, I think you're doing. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good so far. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. she, she's worked hard on football her whole life. But we were our our goal for the conversation was more about. Uh, empowering the youth, empowering athletes, empowering young girls, telling them that it's all right to pursue their dreams, whatever they might be. Um, we also spoke about mental health issues. We spoke about infrastructural issues and uh, what Hajra plans on doing um, for athletes around Pakistan. Um, and at the end of the day, we just had a conversation about the primacy of working hard. So yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Bus. <laughs> all, yeah, all right. One, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hajra Khan, how you doing, Hajra? I'm good, Kazi. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. It, it, this was a long time coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> so glad I'm here. Like, you know, finally. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So, so you said you were training. Yeah. Where was that and how was it? So um, recently, right now, we've got the national championship coming up. Okay. It's the women's championship. Uh, all clubs and departments from all over parks and they compete. Wow. And the champion club comes out. Mm -hmm. And so we've got that coming starting 8th March. So I'm just like down training for that. Mm -hmm. And our camps are usually in Islamabad, but I'm like right now here in Karachi and glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. How, how, how is training, like how long do you train, for instance? Um, so I, I'm one of those athletes who likes to stay fit also. Mm -hmm. So I spend enough time in the gym, but then I also have like football training with the team. Mm -hmm. So that's with the team. The gym, I spend time with myself and my mm -hmm. trainer. Mm -hmm. um, with the team, we have, uh, you know, we talk tactics and technical stuff and, you know, positioning and all of that, you know, football mm -hmm. training that is. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And so you're part of the national team. I am captain. Yes. Oh, you're captain of the national yes, team. Yes. See how it's... That's it's the, all right. We're warming up. Yeah, but understated. Like, just uh -huh. captain, you yeah. know? Um, how's that been? Um, it's been absolutely incredible. I mean, I became captain when I was 20. It's seven years now? Yeah, six, seven years now. Wow. And sure. um, although the past couple of years, Pakistan was not playing because, um, you know, we had some stuff going on. We had, like, some political issues. The federation was banned for a while okay. by the FIFA. Mm -hmm. But that's back. We had our first national team camp also last November, 2020. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we're up and running now. Alhamdulillah. And um, I don't know, I grew up like quiet and shy and introverted. But mm -hmm. then, you know, getting that position kind of meant like responsibility and you have to be more outspoken and you like, do, you yeah. know, you have to warm up to players. Sure. And so, yeah, I mean, it's been a, it's been a ride, but like I'm loving it so far. Well, everything's your problem, no? On the yeah. field, if exactly. you're the captain, exactly. everything's your problem. Off the field, on the field, yeah. you know, whatever's happening in the locker room. Okay, Hajra, what's going on? I'm like, yeah, coach. <laughs> so we have this player, you know. <laughs> so and as the players are like, yo, I don't want to, I, I don't feel too good at training. Like this is bothering me. I have an injury. So like, you know, instead of going to the coach directly, they kind of, you know, confide in me, mm -hmm. which, which kind of feels good. You mm -hmm. know, um, it's a place of responsibility and, sure. you know, get a lot of respect. Sure. Um, so I think, uh, I think I'm making the most of it or trying to at least. All right. Well, perfect. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Lekin, at 20 years old, you're thrust into this. There's mm -hmm. limelight, obviously, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you start making waves. Mm -hmm. But what's the build-up to that? So when did you start thinking, yeah, achha, mm -hmm. I, because, I mean, with the Mazrat, you don't encourage the women to encourage the women to the house or the family to go to athletics. Mein haan, haan. And especially a sport as niche as football. Uh, seven years ago, yeah. non-existent. Uh, of course. Career opportunities, uh -huh. right? Bilkul, bilkul. So, so, so how is that? I, I, so, I started at 11. I was still in 6th grade. Okay. And uh, I used to run track ballet. So, I used okay. to do like track and field and half marathons. I was 11 when my parents um, agreed to send me all the way to India to run a half marathon there. And so, we trained there and I went and it was pretty good. I mean, I came 42nd out of 7,000 all age people, wow. right? Wow. <laughs> so, like, that was kind of like, okay, I got this. Mm -hmm. And I think also being like introverted in a person of my own it it, it, it kind of helped you know uh, a solo sport mm -hmm. and then I was 14 uh, I think it was school was off summer vacation and I read the papers mm -hmm. and uske in their football tryouts and in the provincial team ke na. and the only football I had played was with the neighborhood kids sure. wo, because I used to play basketball uh, in high school like in school so mm -hmm. they made me make a goal post and made a wall ke against kada kar diya, that I'm going to catch their kicks and their penalties because they my reflexes were fast. Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, and, and I had never played football before because I was so busy running and like, you know, playing basketball sometimes. But athletic ability was there. It was there. Yeah. Um, I think I would say it was there ever since I was a kid because I had four male cousins with all, all my right. age, you know. Right, so right. it was always like competitive or sure. I was always part of their team. Sure. So that was an element tha bachman se. And then, uh, so at 14, I went to try out the provincial team ki I got picked by a club team. So you know, it's a rank higher than the provincial team and then there's the departments and the national team. Okay. Okay, okay. two months into training, I uh, was playing the national championship, um, which was my first national championship. And I ended up becoming like the top scorer and everybody's like, you know, <laughs> I, was, I was quiet up 14 years old and I'm just like, okay, I just... Scored nine goals in three games. Like. At 14, you haven't even grown into your own body. You like you're st- Like a skinny kid you're, or something, yeah, right? You're you figuring stuff out. You're yeah. just like, Achha. and you're at that age, you play all sports. Bhi khelo, you know? If you're athletic, you're just going to put yourself into everything. Sure. You know, because competition was the real adrenaline, right? Sure, okay, of course. So, phir, bas I got picked in like, uh, phir, uh, second year round, there's a national championship again. I get the top scorer, beat my own record na, again. I'm like, okay, maybe it was a fluke. Maybe I should give this sport a bit of more attention, right? You were fluke after like... Okay, all right. So I played and then uh, that's when I got picked up by the national team also. Okay. And 2010 was the first national team that was formed in Pakistan for football. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's when I got on the team as well. So wow. that's when I was 16. So 16 was when I made it to the national team. Then two years national team, with 18, they made me vice captain, which also came as like a shocker because... I'm always the kind of person who has to go to the field and go to the field and go to the field and I'm just like... Do your job. Do your job, you know, not into all of that and that and that. Mm-hmm. They made me vice captain, so that kind of felt like, okay, you know, mm-hmm. I do have other qualities that I should look into. Sure, okay, yeah. And then, you know, at 20, they made me captain and I was like, bingo, like, <laughs> you know. Now it's not a fluke. Now it's not so much, <laughs> zyada hai. but you know, even like back then, um, when I started playing, at that time, you know, um, there was a lot of resistance extended family ki taraf se. so my father's side of the family is very conservative hai, because we're you Same. know we're living in Pakistan which is I mean fair sure um, yeah. so they said what do you want to play football you were sent to the now you know kya, you know fa- ah, national team ah. Ah, you know and then like so, so basically to the point where they stopped talking to my family for like a couple of years like four to five years so my dad kind of sacrificed so I could play, right? Oh, man. So that's kind of support like that I had and I think that was the boost where mm-hmm. I was like, Bust mm. Ab, nothing can stop me right no, now. No, no, no. You know, so but that sure happened that. and like, you know. Um but spir, getting there when I started playing, I was like, okay, getting in the field, we look football fields me because all the men had like taken over so like cricket pitches pe hum log training kar rahe, cricket fields pe kar rahe, and I'm just like uh, is this football in Pakistan I need to change this mm-hmm. so that kind of became like a you know certain point that you know this needs to change when I am developing as a player sure so um, bus I managed to then just focus on my game 2014 I got signed by a club in Maldives played there for two years wow yeah, dude. yeah 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 so like you know all of these things just came in with hard work because like you know and also because I didn't pay a lot of attention to the background noise. Noise, I like to call it noise because, you know, but there a was distraction. Noise. There's always been, you know, you get on field, there's men threatening you to not show up again. You know, words like this, you know, and like, I'm just like, screw this. I'm going to go like, I think I found my calling. This is the true north. Now I have to follow this and let's see where this comes. No, it's a very expensive thing. You are saying a very good thing. I hope everyone hears and I hope they have at least half of the kind of courage that you've displayed. Yeah, yeah. But the, the operant concept would be courage. Yeah. It, it is. It shouldn't take you courage to go play football. I know, you know right? I mean? But then every day you wake up, you're just like, okay, the family won't talk to my parents and there's people at the field, but I just need to go get there and play and perform. Inshallah. And so, like, you know, there's all of these things uh, coming and it's been years now that's that had been happening. But thankfully now, there's, like, a lot of acceptance and, you know, uh, parents apni bachiyon ke liye bolte hain ke, you know, where do we send them for training or, you know. Because now, also, jab main, when I came into sports in Pakistan, there were zero role models in sports. Sure, yes. Especially women. Now, yes. what do I have to do with Shahid Afridi? You know, like, a, no, what like, I'm trying to say is, yeah, like, you know, then, yeah. you know, like, a, a kid who's, like, who doesn't, who's not interested in cricket at all, but like, to a hero in the country, like, it's not making sense. There's no, no dots connecting. No. 
And I was like, okay, I'm going to become one for the rest who are coming later, like, you know, the other generations. And so, like, you know, these goals, and I didn't realize I had all these goals and up until, like, a couple of years ago, that I had to play in Europe. I got called for, to try it for three Bundesliga clubs. I trained there. That's huge. Yeah, so, like, you know, like, being the first Pakistani who went to Europe from Pakistan, obviously there's... European based Pakistani players men, men only though ha, ha. who are training there they have the facility so the Bundesliga is uh, Spanish is the German sorry oh, so, it's the it's German, German League uh, or what is the Span- Spanish La Liga, La Liga. Sorry, yeah. yeah yeah so was, I was in Germany training with three clubs there um, the goal wasn't to get signed there it was just to train and learn and learn and learn and learn and learn and learn was it very different to how we used oh, to train oh they play the World Cups yeah so I was with second division because the first division clubs they, their players play the World Cup okay you know they're part of the A team B team German teams right. and so the level was like absolutely incredible you know? okay but the level of athleticism or the level of training the Could level you... of athleticism mm-hmm. and training so they were doing their work 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 you know now Pakistani coaches have you have you go day one training wo aapko abhi tak passing sikha rahe hain i tell them i've been playing football for 12 years sir hum log thoda sa you know let's um so that's one pakistani coaches thankfully like this last november we had a, a spanish coach oh mashallah uh, yeah. yeah and uh, who's also technical director daniel lemonis in okay. uh, at the pff okay wonderful that was fun to train like it was fun to train because we were actually training practicing skill football tactics mm-hmm. and not like basic Uh, in foot out foot situation you know in, okay yeah in foot out foot <laughs> basic bilkul football ki hoti hai na yeah i saw that said <laughs> played before yeah. um ha bus it's just um, you know i got signed by maldives and maldives and i trained in europe became the captain and oh, wait what like, became the captain yeah like uh, no no part. not there no 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 <laughs> in, in pakistan <laughs> in pakistan <laughs> so all of that kind of like you know it was just the dots were connecting and like everything was just falling in place and Mashallah, it was like yeah, you know beautiful. for for a woman in pakistan jahan pe hame Um, education के लिए भी लड़कियों को बाहर जाने से मसला होता है यू नो लाइक बाहर जाने से मतलब घर से बाहर जी जी यू नो तो जी 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 बिल्कुल पाकिस्तान से बाहर तो दूर की बात यू नो लाइक टॉकिंग फ्रॉम जनरल पाकिस्तानी आवाम जो हमारी है तो वो इट हैज चेंज ओवर द पास्ट टेन ईयर्स वेयर पेरेंट्स आर सींग फैमिलीज आर सींग कि भाई अब क्रिकेट में सन अमीर इन फैंटास्टिक यू नो शी इज अ नेम इन हर सेल्फ द कैप्टन शी इज एंड तो यू नो लॉट ऑफ गर्ल्स आर प्लेंग क्रिकेट नाउ लॉट ऑफ गर्ल्स गेटिंग इन टू स्पोर्ट्स get considering art as a field of career sure, you know yeah. so i think it's 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 pretty great we need role, more role models and i think we're not far from getting there we have a lot of them now uh, alhamdulillah I, huh. i would not disagree i would not disagree at all you know training ke bare mein uh, ek aur cheez so when i was younger uh, i was a fan of shoaib akhtar uh-huh. most makes people, sense uh, i was too yeah most people are his athleticism was incredible he's be- brilliant and yeah. also uh, the ferocity Yeah, exactly. You know the way he would uh, throw caution to the wind mm-hmm. really resonated yeah, with yeah, the, yeah. a lot of kids. Yeah. Uski mein unki jab maine biography padhi na. He actually blamed ye jo bonda tarika hota hai of training for his bad knees. Uh, he's like cuz they would he's a fast bowler. Yeah. Fast bowlers by definition is someone who needs to be explosive for a short period yeah. of time. Yeah. And he's flat footed also so that's a thing. Right? And and what it, what they would do is ki aap ground mein pahunche do round to laga lo. Exactly. Yeah, meri baat suno bhai. Yeah. <laughs> meri baat suno. Yep. Yep. No yep. ground behral behral. Huh. Um speaking of so high school mein mm-hmm. we we shared her high school yeah, yeah, yeah. DK right? Yep. So, did they make any allowances for you? Do क्योंकि आजकल तो स्कूल सिस्टम्स करते हैं फॉस्टर भी करते हैं टैलेंट को बट टेन इयर्स अगो आई थिंक दैट्स वेर आई स्टार्टेड आई डोंट नो इफ यू रिमेम्बर सर आसम आई डू सो ही काइंड ऑफ प्राइवेटली ऑल्सो ट्रेंड मी एंड कोच मी वन आई वॉज रनिंग सो आई वुड गो टू स्कूल वी वुड हैव आर प्रैक्टिस देर यू नो ही वुड फुल मी आर ऑफ अ क्लास uh you know um that i would obviously could cope with later mm-hmm. and he'd be like okay we're going to do some warm ups and some stretches and then you know we'd have a meal he was making sure what i was eating and wow. then um you know come back home freshen up you know study in the evening he would call me at zamzam park right here and we would go train there for 2 hours um uh, it was a track because we were training to run sure and so every day i was running 7 kilometers and an 11 year old kid is running 7k every day trying to beat my own record. That's phenomenal. So like, you know, um I think he did he put in a lot of work. He put in a lot of work. Mashallah. Where, yeah, that's, um, but again, so you had to go above and beyond individually. Of course. There was no system in there's place. There's not go- there's still not that system right now which is a bit saddening because mm-hmm. um you know, earlier even when you were playing some better schools had um 
it as a curriculum, like a part of curriculum. Sure, it was yeah. graded. Yeah. That doesn't even happen anymore. You know, so we kind of need to bring this grading system, I think, to, to kind of, you know, uh, motivate our, our youth and the grassroots to kind of, I mean, I don't know, like, this is how we're going to bring a change. Sure, you yes, know? It, it has, has to be to, systematic. It has yeah. to be systematic. Yeah. And if we start off with a system at school, that's where, you know, kids go to school first. That's, if they get competitive there, there's going to be a lot of clubs, opportunities, because there will be change and then, you know, it's it's it'll, it'll be a snowball effect. Sure, I think so. Systematic is always snowball. And in us maybe you know you have to, like, I mean your example is a perfect when you have to incentivize it. Yeah. Like you know how you're attributing it to your parents mm-hmm. and then to Sir Asim because mm-hmm. you like he, they were like they were they were constantly validating your efforts. Kya aap kar rahe ho? Yeah. Or mushkil hai. Ha. Lekin acha kar rahe ho. Yeah. Aap, you know yeah. sometimes all kids need to hear is good job. Basically, you know? that's that's all it. Because right now, I mean, I, it's it just it saddens me because yeah. right now any players who are playing right now or any kids, their parents are forcefully putting them in. Okay, six o'clock is time for uh, horse riding. Seven o'clock you're going for football. Eight o'clock you have guitar lessons. Nine o'clock your tutor's coming. अच्छा मशीन है क्या? This is literally what's happening, right? And and जब वो बच्चे को मौका नहीं मिल रहा कि वो एक्सप्लोर करें कि उसको क्या करना है. I think uh, and this I've noticed with like a lot of young players. Now I know somebody. I met somebody in Islamabad last. I was training at the gym. This fourteen uh, or sixteen-year-old girl. She's playing squash. Her dad's pushing her to play squash. She doesn't even like it. Mm. You know. So like, um, so these things. I just feel like you should let your child kind of explore what it is, and just kind of you know, be that support system for them. Well, then, Bazo Kat, I feel like that that your unlived dreams or what bilkul, have you. They bilkul. just you know, yeah. vicariously then want to live through their kids, and that's a very dangerous thing. You can. Mm-hmm. You know, so you were tough. You mm-hmm. didn't get hurt, or you haven't told me that you got hurt. We'll talk about that. Okay, all right. So yeah, uh, <laughs> but but like this this, but at least you were doing what you wanted to do. Yeah. Right. So you were getting hurt, but you were doing what you wanted yeah. to do. This kid, if she gets hurt, mm-hmm. think about what kind of impact that would have yeah. on her life. On her life. He's on her, hai, exactly, no? exactly, and it's just like not her life that she's living. It's it it's also like a lot of mental. Sure. So I'm an I'm, I'm an absolute advocate for mental health for athletes. Oh shit. <laughs> because you know I came out about my depression I think two couple of, three years ago. What? Yeah. So I have clinical depression and high functioning anxiety, and being a professional player. So like you know there's a big clash because you know being weak is sort of like an antithesis of an athlete supposed to be. Uh, weak to हमें पसंद ही नहीं है ना होना you know all that so. कमजोर तो आप नहीं हो सकते. कमजोर हो ही नहीं सकते मतलब क्या सब देख रहे हैं you know like you know you have to perform exactly that. Yeah. And so when I came out about it, it kind of like there was also acceptance on my end because when you speak about it, वो होता है कि you know, but it was all my experiences as a kid. Sure. Now I फिर मैंने back track back किया मैंने तो सोचा कि एक ग्यारह साल की बच्ची seven kilometers every day भाग रही है वो इतना अभी now you look at an eleven year old now, you know there's so much distraction, so much information they're just getting in and I I I found that space where I could just you know um, express myself or just that was like. therapy for me i see you so know so that that helped you, you it say. helped me and um, it was also normal for me because i liked being by myself wow you know so um i'd be at 27 i think <laughs> at 11 what what was i doing at 11 you know i look at my brother he's just playing on the psp yes. going out and like yes. you know he's got a dog he's playing with you know sure so um yeah um so injuries have a lot of impact on mental health a lot of pressures from the coaches um is a lot of impact on 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 you know mentally um and then you know because you know you're a top perform- performer ever since you've like started playing there's the that way, pressure as well there's yeah. that pressure from your own self so there's like too many things going on and then you know uh, you just have to kind of balance it out um to ha it's very important i think walden ko thoda sa focus karna chahiye bachche ki mental health pe agar wo physical health pe bhi focus kar rahe hain to well, we pray at this point ke uh, there is more widespread knowledge because there's uh, in there's institutions bolna chahiye inko bol sakte hain mm-hmm. like the scheme they're doing phenomenal work yeah, yeah, right lekin like there's still so much to be done abhi tak jinn chad jate hain logo ko exactly and dekho main nahi bol raha hu jinn or not jinn uh, or not a thing there's a myths that are there oh, i'm just saying ki just what if you can help your kid yeah exactly you know? and, and and so what if something's wrong with them yeah that's all right too you know Yep. Like, so what if something's so what if matlab ab khair depression is a very serious thing but yeah. people get really upset about small things like minor things like dyslexia yeah you know like i had dyslexia yeah. throughout my childhood and matlab i was told to be a man yeah i know what <laughs> you, you know? mean and yeah. and like yeah it's um it's pretty it's pretty tricky now also like uh, i had another friend 
Um, he was a cyclist, pro cyclist. He also wow. came out about like with his mental health issues, and you know, we, so Hello, so yeah. there is this um, camaraderie of a- athletes that we are, you know, who know that there's something going on with somebody, or like we're now kind of trying to be there for each other as athletes. Sure. And I think this goes a long way because. Um, also because like even if you have like general friends from out of, from school and somewhere but then those people those team players that you've become friends with or become families with you're living with them you're training with them you know wake up sleep before you know mm-hmm. so that's kind of like i just think everybody needs to experience that kind of. yeah they cool. so, i think being in the trenches yeah is like you will never develop those bonds anywhere else true right and as human beings uh men and women mm-hmm. uh they want to be part of a tribe. They yeah. want to be part of something. Yeah. Most of the people who are in our society are stuck in the wrong movements. That's why they are stuck in their home or their life is actually not happening. Exactly. You know, so they want, uh, they want to belong to something. Yeah. They want a language. They exactly. want a code. Yep. Yep, yep. They want to code. They want, they're like, okay, what's our purpose? What is my, you know, what is my plan A? Or like, you know, what is that, um, that little small gang that I have to fall back on, you know? Yeah. So, like, uh, I think uh, sports has taught me taught me so much. Like, um, I think, I mean, I don't even know where to start no, or no, where no. to end. It yeah. just goes on. Yeah, like, sure, you know. sure. No, but you you were also good. Mm-hmm. What would you say uh, to people who aren't good? So, if you're not good and cocky, you're going to sit the bench for me. Okay. Like, you know, so but if you're not good and you know that, and you're working hard, okay, you have all my attention, and I will help you. Because there are a couple of players who are uh, not good. <laughs> not good, okay, yeah, they're not good. <laughs> who are just not good, mm-hmm. and, you know, they just want to be out there, they want to be up front, as if, you know, it's because of them that the sport exists. Okay. Yeah. And um, that's the kind of, that's not, that's not honest sportsmanship. No. Um, sportsmanship kind of... Uh, I mean, there's you can define it, you know, extensively what sure. sportsmanship is. Sure. Like in, um, if you're not good, if you're working hard, because I know now that I'm getting older, I've I've given 12, 13 years to the sport. No, I know there are other young ones coming in who are good, mm-hmm. and I and I know they're good, but that doesn't bring me down, because I don't want to be that player or that captain or that that senior player on the team who's like I'm everything mm-hmm. and you're nothing. I'm gonna overshadow you. No, mm-hmm. you know I do try to push them up. Mm-hmm. Because that's the time, like, you know, if you want to keep the sport alive, you need to push the, push the younger ones up. And I do, I'm not saying that I'm done with the sport. Mm-hmm. I have that shelf life of an athlete. It's not very small, but not very long not either. Not very long either, yes, yes. So, like, I have a couple of years and I'm going to, but that time I'm taking to push those players, uh, you know, who have the potential, unke andar, you know, they have support, hai, potential, hai, um, courage, which we were talking about. And uh, I just think we need to push all these players up. Well, because if... आप ऐसे समझो कि इफ यू डोंट हेल्प देम देन यू आर एडिंग टू जो आपका एक मतलब डेडली वो बना हुआ था कि एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली बात नहीं कर रही है मर्द आके बोल रहे हैं कि भाई कल नजर नहीं आओ तुम वो तुम होते कौन हो तुम्हारे बाप का बट ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट इफ यू वुड हैव हैड और मे बी यू डिड हैव senior teammates या ट्राई टू पुश यू डाउन बिकॉज़ दे वर इनसिक्योर एग्जैक्टली दैट वुड हैव बीन नो आई जस्ट फील लाइक For an honest, true sports person, you need to keep your insecurities out, mm-hmm. sure. um, especially if you're dedicated to the sport. Sure. I mean, for me, I love representing Pakistan because of you know, um, obviously the respect it gives me, but also because the respect I'm able to give back to the country. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I know like you know, it means so much to me, and that's what I want others to experience also. Mm-hmm. It takes work to get there. Sure. <laughs> and you know, but I also want to set like a precedent. Ke, um, I mean. I became the top scorer in Pakistan uh 2014 2015 <laughs> <But> casual <laughs> no what i'm trying to say is that like there have been tournaments there have been two championships after that and nobody's ever been able to beat that record but the goal is to get that record beaten because why not by a pakistani by a pakistani of course yeah, i mean i want a young one to come in and be like अच्छा देखो नहीं लेकिन आज ऐसा नहीं होता है ज्यादातर लोग जो होते हैं वो दे डोंट हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ माइंड सेट एंड आई सपोज दैट इज व्हाट्स एलिंग आवर मुआशरा जनरली कि हम जो है वी ईट आवर ओन यंग एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली अभी भी और कुछ नहीं है जो हमारे सारे ऊपर बड़े बड़े जो लोग बैठे हुए हैं जिस भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में आप देख लो अगर वो थोड़ी देर भी ये सोचें कि इनको जो है इट्स अबाउट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और द सोसाइटी और द पीपल 
they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. Yeah. You know, because because yeah. you're you're wasting the youth. The youth yeah. doesn't know where you're going. They they, you know, trying to belong to wherever. Exactly. You know, it's. Wait, wait, yeah. So like, जो हमारा जो ये politicized हुई थी काफी ज़्यादा football federation. It was also like. Um, so every country's federation is affiliated directly by the FIFA. So yeah. So now all funds FIFA se aate hain. Your the federations are answerable only to FIFA. So we don't fall under the Pakistan Olympic Association or the Sports uh, Board. Interesting. Right? Sure. So that's a separate entity that's just running, right? And now we have these people running the government, right? They want they see there's funds coming in. They want to take control. So the ban was uh, uh, the clause was that there was uh, third party intervention. Is why Pakistan Football Federation was banned because FIFA doesn't like anybody interfering nee. in their business, nee. right? Nee, nee. So we were banned, we were, but then the ban only lasted a couple of months. But then the football stagnant, right? It was four years until we just lost it. And in that, there was there was fights for power. There was all power play. Everybody wants power. Everybody wants the money. All these people fighting for that seat. अब पीछे किसको किस किस पे फर्क पड़ रहा है सारे एथलीट्स पे जाहिर सारे यंग एथलीट्स पे सारे जो हमारे प्लेयर्स अपकमिंग एंड गोइंग द क्लब्स द एकेडमीज अब इमेजिन फुटबॉल जस्ट स्टॉप्ड इन प्लेइंग लाइक रनिंग इन पाकिस्तान फॉर अबाउट फोर इयर्स रैंडमली सो दे लाइक आई जस्ट फील लाइक पेट्रोटिज्म इन लोगों में नहीं है जिन्होंने अपनी जिंदगी है जी ली है और हु आर ट्राइंग टू रन दीज यू नो दीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दीज फेडरेशन एसोसिएशन उन्होंने तो अपना कर लिया ना They just want some cherry on top or some, you know, sprinkles of like confetti. I don't that's, even know. So like, that's ridiculous. I just feel like we need to be more open to like, you know, more compassionate towards. Okay, and also we need to we need to have the goal in mind. No, I mean, who who at the end matters? Well, the kids matter. Of course. Right. Well, then, then fuck off. You know, like, <laughs> I know. You know, like, like, like the kids are here. Yeah. I mean, what are we doing? So, in the Pakistan team, mein, so I will give you some honest uh, stuff. National team me, I used to get paid. We used to get paid three hundred rupees a day, as a Pakistan national team football player. Okay. Which after ten years is now six hundred rupees a day. Wow. Kya baat hai? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So dunya kahan se kahan pahunch gayi hai? Or ye bhi ladke kiya tha. Matlab you know the players were like, none of us are going to show up if you do this. Mm. And so they're like, okay, let's double it. Like wow, fancy word, but um, wait. So it's just we have economists and doctors and dentists on the football team, and like you know, we have people, women, girls coming from all across Pakistan, from all sorts of backgrounds. Say, or some of the new kids are coming, but they are coming. This is a full time thing. It's dude. a full time yeah. thing. Yeah. I put my, I think my uh, uh, final O levels exam for like a year. I skipped a year because I was at national camp. So you know, like giving in, and I thank my parents for letting me do that. Alhamdulillah, yeah, yeah. But you know. Um, sure. It's just they need to keep this in mind. They need to keep this in mind that you know, um, players are sacrificing shit tons to mm-hmm. be here and represent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that that kind of we're just waiting for like you know to be given back to. Is there is there a chance that private firms will come in mm-hmm. and maybe monitor maybe of yeah course. monetize the situation? Yeah, yeah. Of- so they've started now. Acha, alhamdulillah. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll be. But we have BB normalized. Com- we have a so normalization committee, a normalized committee, which will elect elections to uh, kind of get like the actual president back. The new we're gonna have a new federation now. Okay. So I mean, all through so all of that is happening, and like all the players know all this kachra is happening in the federation. Now you want to focus on playing. Mm-hmm. Just last night I was sitting with Kalim Ullah, he's the men's captain. Okay. And uh, we were just getting sad about the fact, the condition of sport, and when we started playing, and how both of us are not enjoying playing anymore. That's in horrible. Pakistan. You know, I mean, that's the last thing you want to say. Yes. And and like, yes. well, he's twenty eight, I'm twenty seven, and you just we're just like we've been playing for a decade, more than a decade now, mm-hmm. and like. But you're not done. Twenty eight. Yeah. Like we're done. New. No, no, no. We're you not know? done. So and the, 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 just the <sighs> thing is, the fun of it is like sucked out of the sport. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's mm-hmm. kind of like, it doesn't feel good to be like back in the. Uh, the 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 conditions, the situation where nothing is smooth. Like you know, you have to fight for it. Hmm. Hmm. No, but you are thinking that your situation is allegorical for everything else in Pakistan as well. Meaning, ask anyone from gamers, YouTubers, ask photographers, ask anyone. Everyone is suffering. 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 Everyone But obviously, it's not that easy to no. just get there, you know. Yeah. But you know, I think there should be like a policy situation where athletes could actually, you know, have a word at least, you know, in 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 a say in. 
वट गोज अराउंड आई थिंक इट्स इन सीन क्योंकि देखो दीज पीपल ऑब्वियसली आर मेकिंग मनी दैट्स वाई दे वॉन्ट बी ऑन टॉप ठीक है वट आर यू मेकिंग मनी ऑफ ऑफ दी एथलीट एक्सैक्टली सो देन जस्ट पे दैम एन बी ए अब जाहिर है बहुत एक अलग ही दुनिया है लेकिन मैं एक बात कर रहा हूँ कि नेशनल बास्केटबॉल एसोसिएशन जो अमेरिका की है gratuitous amounts of money is paid to uh, the athletes why yeah because it's understood ki sab jo baki sab jo budde budde white log jo hai na wo jo bilkul itne 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 pet nikle mein unke suits mein ghoomte hain wo kyun paise kama rahe hain because lebron james is who he is exactly right exactly. or or tennis mein khair teams nahi hoti lekin tennis mein bhi hota hai aise why does serena williams get to make the kind of money she yeah. does yeah. because everyone else yeah. gets paid because of her yeah. it's not so different here it's not we na but um, but wo bhi hai ki now we're also talking lebron james and serena williams ab now if we do come down to pakistan the cricketers will make sure the highlight is still on them kyun they acha lobbying hoti hai baqaida matlab wo matlab wo isi tarah hai na ki you talk about pakistan mein kaun sa sport khela jata hai nobody remembers hockey is a national sport no one does and nobody remembers also that federation is also very politicized like it's just it's very um, I don't know, man. We have a lot of talent coming from all across Pakistan. Alhamdulillah. On on the national team, we have players from Hunza, like you know, wow. we have players from Balochistan, and we have players from like places like Bihari in Punjab. So like you know, places you haven't even heard of. No, no. So much talent, so much skill, such hardworking players. Mm-hmm. Incentive दे दो कोई कोई छोटा सा दे दो क्योंकि मेहनत वो पूरी कर रहे हैं थोड़ी और कर लेंगे यू नो गिव अस अपॉर्चुनिटीज गिव अस एक्सपोजर टू प्ले अब इधर अपॉर्चुनिटी आपसे ले लेते हैं तो वट इज द पॉइंट You know, अब जिसने दस साल पहले फुटबॉल खेलना शुरू करी थी या कोई भी स्पोर्ट या हॉकी खेलना शुरू करी एंड यू नीड टू पुट इन एट लीस्ट दैट मच टाइम टू गेट गुड एक्सैक्टली नो वन्स अ प्रोडजी नॉट मोस्ट पीपल आर्ट आई मीन यू आई मीन इन ऑल ऑनेस्टी नॉट इन पाकिस्तान विद द काइंड ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वी हैव श्योर यू नो सो इट्स जस्ट वी जस्ट नीड टू इनेबल वी जस्ट नीड टू इंसेंटिवाइज वी जस्ट नीड टू गिव दीज प्लेयर्स अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू काइंड ऑफ अपने दिल से अपने आप को वो एक्सप्रेस करके ना खेल के जो है आपको खुश कर देंगे बेसिकली बिकॉज वे ऑल सच No athlete gets in the field to lose. No, right? No, no, no. Of course not. My team, somebody else's team, field के अंदर कौन घुसता है हारने के लिए? Right? Really. Yeah. So this is my logic that I work with. मतलब मुझे पता है कि हर टीम में बंदा मेहनत कर रहा है, थोड़ा सा पुश करना है. So like you know, so becoming captain kind of gave me that 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 place where I could at least make them feel good, even if they weren't getting paid enough. Make them feel like you know they were somebody on field. Make mm-hmm. them feel like they were somebody off field. Mm-hmm. You know, work on them, talk to them, see what's going on. So like, it was responsibility. But then I just feel like there was added burden. Jo mera exactly, nahi tha. Exactly. Exactly. You know. Well, it's a beautiful thing what you're doing. Yeah. But you shouldn't have to do I it. I don't. I shouldn't have to do this. No. You know. No. No. So no. So, thoda sa. I just hope things change now for the better. Allah karega. Um. I know, man. I'm just praying every day for. लेकिन मैं फिर वही पूछ रहा हूँ ना आपसे कि is there some way because अब समझ यही आता है कि आपको खुद ही करना पड़ेगा ना yeah. क्योंकि देर ऑब्वियसली देर प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूशन इदारे हैं यहाँ पे दैट हैव मनी टू स्पेंड राइट म्यूजिक पे भी वही स्पेंड कर रहे हैं तो फिर स्पोर्ट्स पे भी उन्हीं को करना yeah. पड़ेगा और क्या होगा yeah. आखिर में और क्या होगा कुछ भी नहीं देर इज लिमिटेड नंबर एंड अब वो भी है ना कि नो बड़ी वुड वॉन्ट टू फुट इन मनी इन इन एन एसोसिएशन ऑफ एनी स्पोर्ट दैट्स करप्ट I'm not specifically talking about football. I'm no, generally no. talking about all the sports in Pakistan right now. Yeah. Sab mein masle chal rahe hain. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Ab Jee, kaun paise lagayega? Bahir ab you go these big 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 brands are putting in money in very very small tournaments. Of course. So I I'll, I'll compare with my our, our neighbors the Indian team, mm-hmm. the Indian Football Federation. I think highly of them. I'm an athlete. I I I can tell a good athlete from an athlete. I don't care about what the history is sure. like or jitni dushmaniyan banaye sure. banaye. Sure. 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 To hell with them. Their players are absolutely incredible. Why? Millions of money has been spent on them. Millions. Fields been made, academies been made, grounds been made, uh, f- specifically for females or men. So they're just like injecting and injecting and injecting. Country like Bangladesh, right? Back in 2010, the first team that we played. So it was also their first team, and our very first Pakistan ki, national team. Thi. Wow. उनके पास फॉरेन कोच आया था वो आज तक उन्हीं का कोच है एंड नाउ दे स्टैंड सेकंड ऑन द पोडियम इन साउथ एशिया दिस इज बांग्लादेश राइट नेक्स्ट टू इंडिया यू नो सो इट्स जस्ट यू हैव टू इनेबल यू हैव टू यू हैव टू मेस लाइक प्ले विद योर हार्ट ऑनेस्टली लाइक these people in the federation oh my god i'm just going to go on and on no, and on about this <laughs> if you want to you it's should every every vo um but yeah dekho na kyunki wo aapne jo baat ki aur ye hum matlab i at least grew up listening to this and propagating this exact view 
कि यार पाकिस्तान में बहुत टैलेंट है मान लिया ना Yeah. कौन बोल रहे नहीं है लेकिन उसको कुछ करो ना उसके बारे में कुछ करें सिर्फ सोना ये बोल के भाई हाँ। पाकिस्तान में बहुत टैलेंट है अब सोचे हाँ, हाँ। ऐसे तो नहीं होता ना? है मतलब किसी बड़े किसी एथलीट को बोल रहा पाकिस्तान में सो आई नो आई कैन काउंट ऑन माई फिंगर्स एथलीट्स इन पाकिस्तान फ्राम ऑल स्पोर्ट्स फ्राम सर्टन स्पोर्ट्स हुर एक्चुअली पुशिंग फॉर द यंग टू कम इन हुर फाइटिंग द फेडरेशन टू टू मेक थिंग्स वर्क नेम दैम डोंट नेम द बैड पीपल लेकिन आई नो सना महमूद नाउ शी वॉज ऑल्सो फुटबॉल टीम कैप्टन नाउ शीज शी वॉज दैन बास्केटबॉल टीम कैप्टन एंड सो हर फर्स्ट गेम वॉज बास्केटबॉल दो सो लाइक यू नो वॉज ऑलवेज लाइक पिकिंग अप द स्पोर्ट एंड दैन ऑल्सो Um, she was also a senior for me, okay. so you know we're still super tight, and okay, she was kind of like an older player on the team who kind of looked out for you know the young ones. Okay. And um, then there's like uh, I don't know so many Samina Beg the climber, you know she wants climbing to become a thing, and there's uh, so many like yeah. I can't. Yeah, so yeah, it's no. just so so throughout. अब आपको जब भी याद है आप मुझे बताना ठीक है ना? But जैसे आप देखो you and I you grew up in Karachi as well. Yeah. So we grew up in Karachi. We've always heard of the boxing. पोटेंशियल इन लियारी एंड एंड थ्रू आउट आई वॉज लाइक यार तो वो मेहनत तो वैसे ही कर रहे राइट जस्ट वट यू हैव टू डू गेट दम कोचिंग एंड गेट दम इनफ मनी टू ईट फूड दैट लिटरली इट लाइक और वो बाकी काम वो वैसे ही खतरनाक लोग हैं पर वो भी नहीं हो सका अभी तक नहीं वही सो टू इयर्स अगो आई थिंक लियारी में दिस दिस बॉक्सर वो टू डॉटर्स ऑल्सो उसने अपने कोई गराज टाइप में एक रिंग बनाया देसी उसके अंदर फिर उसके ग्लव्स वगैरह थे एंड सो द गर्ल्स फ्रॉम द एरिया नाउ दे ट्रेन विद हिम सो एंड वो छोटी बच्चियाँ हैं वो एंड इट देर ऑल्सो स्कॉफ एंड लाइक वो बॉक्सिंग सीख रही हैं सो इट्स लाइक इट्स अ गुड साइड बट लाइक अगर इन्हीं इसी टैलेंट को हम लाइक थोड़ा सा और इसमें पैसे खर्च कर दें यू नो गिव दम एक्चुअल ट्रेनिंग और लाइक गिव दम एक्चुअल you know just things to kind of motivate them to play you know yeah, um yeah. unko aur kuch bhi nahi chahiye i mean what does a young kid want they just want to come learn box that's it you know that, but but again dekho that yet again is an example wo bhi khud hi kar raha hai exactly of a person going above and beyond yeah. why should he have to yeah. you know yeah. matlab chalo theek hai in the, aapke liye mere liye hmm. ek ring banana is actually expensive uh. for an organization though yeah. it's Nothing. not it's not it's anything yeah, you know yeah. like <laughs> just, exactly. Just rage. Yep, I know so much of it. Just, just rage. <laughs> But yeah, dekho. I think it's a beautiful thing uh, that you're getting up and actually showing other girls, women even. Because dekho na, you understand that when you become a role model, you, you obviously know this. I'm not going to tell you, but the rest of the people. When you become a role model, you're not you're not just uh, a role model or a beacon or what have you for people younger than you mm. you're also showing people older than you yeah. even aapke walden ya mm. aapki jo extended family mein khawateen mm-hmm. hai unke liye bhi ki yaar dekho aap jis tarike se kar rahe the goya wo aapne sahi kiya ya galat mm. kiya is out of the question yeah, yeah. but this is also a way of being yeah, yeah you know what i mean exactly so i think that's powerful yeah but that's, it's, it is powerful to the point where the extended family now talks to me oh wow mashallah they talk to me yeah. and they're like oh this is my niece or oh, you know, <laughs> this is my cousin you know right. and and you know so it is i mean it is i mean i'm so glad i did this and i'm so glad my parents supported me and i'm so glad that i i was i think just a lot of gratitude ke bahut zyada iski zarurat thi mm mm-hmm. to so bring it bring about this to do this in my not only in my family but also of the country the girls the women are seeing um when i became captain there were older players on the team mm-hmm. who were kind of like oh isko bina diya gaya and i'm just like and i and i didn't get into it because also that was also background noise for me it okay. was noise i need to focus on the team okay. to focus on me to we here like you have to set an example doing what you want but also be open to you know have that Uh, scoring record broken you know you have to have those have to have that sure 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 you you spoke about uh we spoke about potential versus working hard mm. from what i got you're mm. saying anyone can become good if they work hard enough that's what you're saying um i think hard work i mean is it goes a long way yeah and um training maybe you can tell from somebody who is just good and taking it for a ride uh-huh kuch hote hai na players aate hain because you know i'm better player theek hai you know you could be skilled you could have started playing earlier jo bhi aapka hai you're a better player sure doesn't beat hard work no because what i'm trying to say is that you're good polish it with your hard work and show it prove it yeah don't be arrogant about the fact that you know you're coming to late training to late to to training late mm-hmm. you're coming you're, you're just like doing it half assly you know what i mean mm-hmm. and uh, but then you we will see somebody who's a little less talented than that player but working so hard Jee, that they become they're like yeah the coach yeah. is like okay i'm going to pick them yeah. because you know so aapka so you would always purport ke 
yes they should all consider you as a role model mm-hmm. but they should also then keep in mind ki kam 15 saal nahi bhi nahi to 15 saal to sirf mehnat hai mehnat hai ha. i mean even 5 saal zor se laga do na apne ha. it's good enough i yeah. mean because mehnat i th- i would say this was all all that stuff that like you know um in the hat you know playing in europe and getting signed by maldives and you know now I have three Guinness world records now we talk about that wow. <laughs> alhamdulillah so it just yeah alhamdulillah it, it's i know it's not just like you know out of nowhere no i kn- i know that i worked hard yes. is why i became the top scorer is why you know was mvp is why i became captain i worked hard is why i got called i didn't even apply or like you know reach out to them mm-hmm. to train they're like okay we see somebody with potential we'll train them you were just working hard i was just working hard That's you it. know so like I knew I had skill but then I still think I need to work hard to get somewhere. Well I think that's refreshing to hear and I think lots of people need to hear it um coming from their role model mm. ki uh, because a lot of especially the youth of today is also very entitled. Yeah. Ki yaar itna skill of power yeah. Ah uh, mere mere paas itna skill hai to mujhe koi bulata kyun nahi hai. Uh. But your position was never that. Yours uh. was like this is my reward working huh. playing this yeah. is my reward and it was it was i was getting returns alhamdulillah god was so gracious like you know one after the other it was just coming and it still is till date yeah. right yeah. and so i think it was like you have to work hard mm-hmm. you you have to work hard you know two hours at the gym i remember and then uh, sometimes i spent two and a half hours just training at the gym just to get stronger and just to get stronger yeah. just everything you know it, it it was rehab it was uh, getting stronger it was just a lot of um also because uh, you know especially with like you know if you have mental health issues you it just kind of gets out like it's good it's good for you it, for me uh the football field playing football was like kind of like a sanctuary for me wow. you know and okay. um it 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 really just means so much i feel like i wouldn't be who i am without football at all no of course and of course like you can up up you you said proper clinical depression and yeah. then high functioning anxiety uh, anxiety yeah did you ever seek treatment for it yeah 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 so i came out about it after i started seeing treatment okay. so pella first for for a year it actually happened so my first breakdown was actually after so i played on the national basketball team as well okay and we have a great training session um the camp was on for the national team um uh, you know feeling good about my training mm-hmm. get out of the field like get out of the court times up and i start bawling just breaking down hysterical like you know my body shaking and i'm like Jeez. okay shit yeah what's going on and then uh, sana like i spoke of you know she was captain of the basketball team then she came she's like what's going on and she's like uh, okay let's let's freshen up wash up and then we talk about this mm-hmm. later mm-hmm. when we go to our rooms okay and so we did and um us waqt bhi itna scene off tha ke so the next morning i was my body and my mind was so exhausted uh from that attack from the panic attack that you know the coaches didn't know they're like oh I still want her on court and like Sana was like she can't show up mm-hmm. but then I did I was just sitting on the side you know my mind's like down nothing's happening like you know I don't have the will to train right now you know although it sucks for an athlete sitting on the benches you know when your team is training but depression you know? is a thing dude it is a thing it is <laughs> so real so that's when like it first happened and then you know I think a couple of months of like convincing myself and like this friend of mine convincing myself to go to like you know get like actual treatment or like getting diagnosed clinically so i went there was resistance on a personal level on a personal you level you didn't want to go get diagnosed no so yeah for like a couple of months because i was like you know how you know you how you hear things oh uh, exercise karte hain to theek rehte hain mentally and like uh, but then the same thing i just didn't want to be weak i just Jeez. you know so like it was that it was me fighting against me that's such toxic yeah, ideals yeah it no? was just and and that too was kind of like um it was depression and anxiety playing their part not letting me go to therapy was no, because like you know yeah. so i would fight it and then you know i think it just got really bad when i started just staying in bed uh, i was th- i think living in islam on that mile mm-hmm. and i was just like okay not going to go to the gym not going to go to training i'm just going to be here but but, but you get, people still uh, don't understand for mm. whoever needs to hear this yeah. this is a chemical thing it is this is something that's physically wrong with you it is inside of you it is wrong it is a biological uh, you know i wouldn't call it a defect but it's it's an illness it's an illness you know yeah. you break a leg you you have a fracture you go to the doctor yeah. you get treated you get a whatever cast it is also like a mental illness that's right it. that's it as per i i got up and i was like okay i need to see a doctor so mm-hmm. i went that day i got diagnosed with clinical depression and high functioning anxiety a couple of usse pehle i was misdiagnosed because it became physical like my gut used to hurt and everything 
right, so you right. know so like <clears throat> all of those things and i was like okay shit i need to get diagnosed mm-hmm. but when she said your clinical depression high function anxiety it was such a relief to hear what was wrong with me and to kind of figure out that there was something wrong with me sure. because the past couple of months was just a guessing game you know why am i feeling so sad like you know i'm doing good in my career and like mm-hmm. you know um, you should you know? be good i mean you yeah. know i should be good what yeah. am i not doing wrong and everything but then i'm it's been 3 years now alhamdulillah i've been still in therapy uh-huh. and um, i've been on medication for 2 years yeah um obviously just don't start taking medication for everybody out there no, just exactly. don't consult yeah. like yeah. a psychiatrist and like you know yeah. all of that yeah um and i'm doing so much better like alhamdulillah. you know alhamdulillah. um how's the medication been though um so i'm on ssris mm-hmm. which are not like um uh, what do you call it you don't hang on to them okay no you, know, really, so you, not you don't yeah. not addictive you don't need to take them to like pass out or sleep or whatever it's just to balance all the chemical imbalances in your mind um i'm on a low dose uh, yeah. so every yeah. morning it goes uh, we're re- reaching a point where we're cutting it down now so mm-hmm. inshallah uh, so mm-hmm. you know that's good mm-hmm. um yeah but so so this is also important because people need to understand you can do everything right yeah. like i'm assuming you also have a clean diet everything right mm-hmm. working out all the time yeah you can still get this exactly ye puch ke nahi aati ha matlab you know if i'm an athlete matlab main to because people are like oh acha phir when i start speaking up about it people were like oh aap to exercise bhi karti hain to phir aapko is tarah matlab to phir exercise ka galat bolte maine ke nahi you know aap workout kare aap exercises kare aap lekin sirf exercise pe focus na kare aap aap dekhein ki main kaun hu mm-hmm. and you have you don't know where i'm coming from sure. so you know obviously it's a it's a gradual you don't just wake up and you're like oh shit i have depression you no, know no. so um everybody is different everybody's personalities are different their experiences are different kisi ko kisi tarah ke symptoms honge kisi ko kisi tarah ke honge kisi ki treatment kisi tarah ki mm-hmm. hogi you know so uh, they need to understand ki you know as an athlete fit ho khana bhi khaya life is going great you know traveling bhi ho riya alhamdulillah and phir bhi ho gaya so uh, i mean accept it as a as a as a normal illness and get treatment for it i sure. would totally say you know sure nahi dusra aapne ek badi interesting baat ki where you were like you know pehle my gut would hurt and stuff like that that's how this stuff manifests itself yeah. right and i don't i don't know why why we live the way we do yahan pe pakistan mein but banda bas chal raha hota hai yeah. pet kharab hai rice kha lo exactly. pet kharab hai eno pe lo yeah. bhai pet kharab kyu hai sir mein dard kyu ho raha hai panadol kha sahi ho jayega lekin kyu ho raha hai exactly so you know they don't get to like the hub. i mean you need to get to the root of everything sure. like, you know and i'm the kind of person like person who's not going to just scoff it off let it go you know mm-hmm. तो वो छोटी छोटी चीज़ें होती हैं आई थिंक वालदे भी अपने अगर बच्चे हैं छोटे भी हैं तो यू नो फोकस ऑन अगर वो स्कूल से किस तरह के मूड में आ रहा है या वो पढ़ नहीं रहा या तो उसके दोस्त नहीं बन रहे या यू नो सो देर इज समथिंग गोइंग ऑन यू नो सो आई थिंक दे जस्ट नीड टू बी अल मोर अटेंटिव टूवर्ड्स देर किड्स सो नाउ यू नो यू यू डन ऑल दिस माशा से एंड थ्रू आउट ऑल ऑफ दिस देर ऑलवेज इज प्रेशर in pakistan to be a certain type of woman mm-hmm. right because you were a girl when you started yeah. but then you grew into a yeah. mashallah say woman speak to how how was that <laughs> like cuz i mean people <laughs> obviously will once yeah dekho logo ko bas ye chahiye hota hai ki aap ki koi ek special kaam kar rahe ho not mm-hmm. to celebrate it but of to course. sell it yeah. right yeah. so aapko zarur modeling contracts ye sab to hua hoga no so so uh, so i've matlab mera we like i said focus hamesha was just like play 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 okay. play right. and then um you know obviously when you're at a certain point in your career where you i mean personally i would say mujhe kafi time laga to tell myself ki okay it's now okay to put your hands in other th- other stuff you know to you put your to support yourself attention yeah. in other stuff yeah. Yeah. and uh, to voi um and then uh, there was this stuff i do and like you know getting nominated for like the most stylish athlete situation it was a shocker but i was like <laughs> okay i mean i just dressed to feel good but thanks stylish so you know <laughs> good 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 style yeah but then um you know it's things like this and like um, you know getting called at conferences to talk and um i do consult i so i i mean i work a part time mm-hmm. uh, but do i love to keep in touch with sports so i'm consulting right now for right to play it's a corporate engagement consultancy okay. it's part time uh it's a canadian based uh, sports development organization and um so like you know i've worked with them before and this is the kind of work that i do so so i'm playing right now mm-hmm. and i'm also de- helping develop um uh, you avenues know, avenues and young kids to come in mm-hmm. and we're using sports as a, as a tool so it it's kind of like um, i mean 
I mean, this is work that I'm talking about. Sure, but like, you know, course, um, yeah. yeah, outside of work, there, there are, you know, getting more attention. For the longest, I didn't have an Instagram account. Uh, no, you can't do that anymore. You know, you, you need to have You need things. to have one, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. for the longest, I did not because, you know, again, I've been a private person. And so, like, that was me being vulnerable with the entire world. You know, there's sure. a side of me that sure. I'm going to show you guys now. Sure. You know, yeah. so it was element tha, which I kind of warmed up to. And then, you know, um, it became, it, I mean, good thing now it brings work. It brings endorsements. Exactly. It is how an athlete kind of supports themselves. Any exactly. athlete, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, wo hai to, I'm just like really grateful right now. Well, I, I, again, really bad, na, as an athlete, you only have yourself. Yeah. You're not building equity anywhere else. Yeah. So you have to productivize yourself and Instagram and Facebook and all these things yeah. now. Uh, doing them and doing them well and that's unfortunate yeah. because the, the organizations take care of you yeah. Yeah. you're meant to take care of yourself exactly right? exactly. so people need to know who you are yeah. you know yeah. and people need to pay you what you're worth and stuff inshallah exactly and and like yeah, you know initially when it, when I started like you know being more out there like getting work and stuff and I had to deal with myself uh, you know I mean talking to agencies with phone and I'm just like uh, now I, I have a great manager Aslan and um, he's taking care of everything and so like you know um so, ab sab kuch mujhe khud nahi karna pad You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I can just focus on playing and focus on like other stuff where mm-hmm. you know he's like, okay, you gotta do this. This is work. We're traveling now, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, sweet. You know. Well, I think wouldn't it be absolutely beautiful to have that taken care of for the younger athletes? Yeah. Stuff that you've had to learn mm-hmm. through through and teach yeah. throughout your career. Yeah. Wouldn't it be wonderful agar bachiyan jo hai, they just focus on their stuff yeah. and then you also tell them ke bita. Ye bhi karna hai and you also have Haan. to set yourself up for whatever because yeah. this is closed. Exactly. So, um, and that's exactly what I had in mind when I kicked off my sports academy. Oh, you have um, a what? I, I have, op- we haven't started operations yet okay. because like, uh, I mean, it was supposed to kick off last year but then but the pandemic happened and now I just want to focus on myself for a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's in the pipeline. It's working, you know, the, the structure of it is to, to, I mean, to what? not have the girls go through what I went through. What's it called? Fortis Sports Academy. Mm. It's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, inshallah, so it, inshallah, the inshallah. name also randomly just came up to me. I was just sitting, I'm like, huh. Fortis. Okay, Fortis. Great, Fortis. Yeah, Fortis is good. Yeah, yeah. It's great. So, um, and it's not going to be limited to football. Um, we're, it's a sports academy, so we'll start off with the sport I'm most comfortable with, which is football right now. And then, you know, we're going to expand to like basketball, and then we're going to go to track, bring in more sports. Um, ultimately, in a couple of years, the goal is to have like a solid academy system Inshallah. where, yeah. you know, you actually get admitted and like you train there, play there, live there. And, 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 and uh, 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 when would you start taking the kids? Very young? Yeah, we stay. I mean, for me, um, so obviously there's uh, plans. There's obviously uh, stuff for others. For the, for the youngest ones, you have like three to six. Wow. Is the goal. But, That's fantastic. But, yes, yeah. but, but for that, we're just going to be training kids right now. Mm-hmm. Um, And also to give back, I think for me, why I did this academy was um, it would allow me to give back whenever I want to to, to the country and to the young ones, right? So um, how we would kick it off is like we have football clinics. Sure. Where, you know, I have uh, a foreign coach coming in, a couple of young players or coaches in Pakistan team up, uh, have a session with us, and then we're going to go. So I'll take the academy to different cities, and run a clinic, a week-long clinic or a couple of days clinic wow. where we're coaching the coaches, yeah. we're coaching the kids, yeah. and then that, and then we set them up, we take reports every month. Inshallah. You know, so it's kind of like, uh, and this is non-for-profit, non, non all of that is not for, not, not, not for profit <laughs> uh, because that's not the goal. Like, no. you know, for the, I mean, I don't know, I've never played sports or football for money. Yeah. Um, never, ever. Like, you know, if I did, I wouldn't be anywhere, A. B, I wouldn't, like... I just don't, I don't know. That's not who you are. That's not who I am. Okay. You know, it's not why I do it. All you right. know, because mm-hmm. I mean, I keep reminding myself why, the, the why that got me into sport and the why that I want mm-hmm. to live by. Mm-hmm. It's not money, it doesn't, um, obviously I love getting paid with the other stuff I do. Like, of course, you know, being able to, being able to support yourself. Supporting is a yourself is, thing. is, yeah, and, and that kind of like, it's liberating to see, you know, in a country like Pakistan, mm-hmm. when I started back then, I didn't think I was going to be here. No, no. I did not think that I would be paid for a certain endorsement or like, or as much. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that I was able to work this hard to be somewhere. Wow. And why? Because, again, coming back to hard work, I worked hard. Yes. <laughs> is why I was at a position yes. where I was recognized enough mm-hmm. 
to attract all these brands and yeah, stuff. It's very interesting that you say that because Aaj Subhai, na, to uh, one of the people that I look up to, everyone should, I mm-hmm. think, is Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Joe Rogan does a yeah, podcast, yeah. right? And obviously, like, everyone who listens to podcasts know ki, yeah, know, yeah. knows that Joe Rogan has a podcast. He was talking about his success, mm-hmm. right? And he was like, yeah, dekho mei baas <laughs> I work hard <laughs> and I work harder, yeah. right? And I'm like, Wow. <laughs> you know, that's a that's a very yeah, interesting yeah. imperative, right? Because you you start thinking yaar mere paas ye mic nahi hai. Huh. Yeah, f- in your case mere paas ye jute nahi hai, huh, ye exactly. fan endorsement nahi hai, mere exactly. paas pitch nahi hai. Exactly. Yeah, lihari mein jo abhi tak ladke hai and yeah. I would pick them over any boxer yeah. anywhere in the world, right? Yeah. Wo bole agar mere paas punching bag nahi hai, yes a punching bag is a necessity. Gloves yeah. nahi hai. But they still go, right? Yeah. So, so they, they still work hard. Yeah. And you know, maybe maybe working hard is the point i mean it is so since you spoke of leary i'll go back to leary and um wahan pe bacche bhi jo hain before they run before they learn how to walk they're learning how to play football also yeah. right so ab wahan pe hamari practice ke liye we were uh, we would train we would have like practice matches against under 14 boys they were so good yeah, they, they were been. so good like it's crazy right yeah. like um but we to, you know i would just be playing and like against them i was just thinking <laughs> only if we could do something for them if, you if know we could, yeah. if we could do something for them and you know pick them up take them somewhere like yeah. you know oof, so much to do yeah so much to do, so much uh, to I, do. i i get pehle jo hai na matlab pata nahi 18 19 saal ki umar mein main bada mm-hmm. you know uh-huh. rote hote nahi hai uh-huh. ab mujhe ye bachche bachche nazar aate hain immediately i start bowling because i'm like yaar ek tarike se i feel like we like i be personally i failed them because mm-hmm. i had all this privilege uh-huh. where i do i went abroad uh-huh. got an education for what yeah they're still here mm-hmm. everyone's here and woh wali baat hai ki aap dekho they have reached a fundamental truth at 14 uh-huh. that i have not reached at 28 which uh-huh. is the work is the point yep. the outcome is not the point yeah. you know scoring goals yeah. only came because you were working hard uh-huh. so working hard was the yeah. point goals were a consequence yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, I I keep telling myself and everybody that the overhaul takes time, and sure. that's what it matters. Sure. And um, that also kind of reflects off uh, on also, um, you know, if you're playing a sport say, or anything you're doing in the world, you know, if you're going to be if you're going to get somewhere, you might never make it, right? But then you, once you know you've put in the hard work, some other stuff might come in. Sure. Maybe you don't even want to be there anymore, you know? Like uh, so, I just feel like you got to focus on the overhaul, like. Mm-hmm. For mm-hmm. me, that's what I've personally done, and mm-hmm. that's what I would tell everybody. To Inshallah. Do. So just work hard, yeah. and um, so you're you're doing you're uh, doing the consulting and the playing and the academy, mm-hmm. right? Academy is not full time right now. No, no, it's going to happen. But yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else? What else do you have planned for the future that you're comfortable sharing? Because what I just need to share with you. It's okay. It's another lagjati. Yeah. Huh. True. Yeah. Nay, um, so I don't know. Funny story. I don't know. Not funny enough. But like, I always wanted to be a pilot. Uh, so like, after my A levels, I kind of wanted to go to like flight school and stuff. Okay. So I got admitted here at PIA, like their flight school, and um, and now I'm just waiting for a call to go to school. And then at that point, they were getting like privatized or something. This is a couple of years ago. Okay. You know, so they're like, okay, I'm in flight school. I'll be rocked by, but you know, we're gonna resume next month. वो नेक्स्ट मंथ होते होते वो दस महीने हो गए एंड पाकिस्तान कैंप आ गया ट्रेनिंग का फुटबॉल आई कॉट देर नेक्स्ट डे आई कॉल दैट लाइक फ्लाइट ट्रेनिंग स्टार्टिंग गुड एंड सो आई डेंट गो दैर आई मिस्ड आउट ऑन ऑन दैट बट दैट समथिंग आई स्टिल वॉन्ट डू लाइक आई वुड एक्चुअली कमर्शियल पायलट नाउ आई डोंट थिंक आई वॉन्ट बी ए कमर्शियल पायलट बट गेट अ प्राइवेट लाइसेंस एंड लाइक बी एबल टू फ्लाई इज समथिंग दैट आई रियली Like, Inshallah, you know, beautiful. I don't know. Like being commercial pilot, I mean, I'm I'm gonna be 30 in a couple of years. I don't know. It takes a while. Yeah. You know, it takes yeah. a while. Yeah. So um, it's something that I want to do, but yeah. like, but that's also like a side stuff. But I really want this academy to like run up and uh, become international and Inshallah. sort of like um, you know. Would you? So you would go to all the cities. that you can go to mm-hmm. which is just all the cities mm-hmm. so i would mostly so i would start with going uh places where the the infrastructure is not the greatest the coaching is not the greatest okay um the potential is incredible of course. but they don't have the means okay you know so say abhi aajkal hunza gilgit mein kafi zyada ho raha hai uh it's on the list you know just uh, just telling people there's 12 villages in hunza uh jiski bachiyan football khel rahi hain 
Oh, they're playing already? They're playing. Yeah. They've recently been enabled, like they've been made enabled. But it's that we need to take quality training and the goal is to pull out players from there and inject into the national team or, you know, clubs abroad. Yes. So with this whole clinic situation, it's also like, you know, sort of secretly scouting players. To like, you know... Absolutely. We don't know that we'll be able to do it for 5 years. And now we'll be like, come on. Yes. You know, uh-huh. so this is this is kind of like the goal that I'm kind of focusing on. Yeah. You know, so we had uh, Azad Kashmir here on the list. We have uh, Balochistan on the list. Uh, so starting off with these places, um, Interior Sindh, Interior Punjab, um, and then you know we're gonna make bring bring it up to uh, bigger cities. A uh, bigger cities might be uh, for profit, which would be, which, because obviously you know I'm not going to say, um, you know. set up a clinic in defense and have kids come here because it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And having it for profit also makes absolute it sense. It does. And yeah. that's the, that's going to be the goal. So yeah, whatever sure. profits we make off the academy, like yeah. training with the foreign coach or whatever, uh, will be injected into the clinics. So Fantastic, it's so the yeah. business, eventually, the plan is to make it run itself. It will, and um, yeah, the goal is to take it to other countries and run clinics in other countries with partnerships. down the line okay inshallah yeah, yeah. inshallah that's beautiful man yeah, I, let's I, see I, how I, that goes uh, no no <laughs> it'll go like you come say why why won't it go yeah. uh, but again the the work is the work um you you abhi jaise ye mere khayal mein aurat march bhi hona and all those mm-hmm. things have you been like pa- part of it or do you like i have been interact with i went it to or? the last one okay um i don't know First question I get asked in a couple of interviews about diplomatic sini or they say are you a feminist and I'm just like can you define your definition of feminist to me so I can answer this question Yeah every person has their own definition of the word Sure you know and this is what the day we're living in right yeah. now Yeah just say baat karo apna bolte hain wo For me I do go mm-hmm. I do try to involve myself some way or the other mm-hmm. because I do believe in equality equity and respect Oh shit You know, yeah. if it's a man or a woman, yeah, I will stand for you. But Inshallah. obviously, yeah. women because many they clear now, like even in sports. So I'm also kind of representing the fraternity here. Yeah. That we are going through this thing, and in our field, it also happened. So we also need equality and opportunity. If it's possible, exactly. 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 औरत मार्च भी और क्या बोलते हैं और क्या चाहिए इनको यू नो मेरे ख्याल में और कुछ तो नहीं मांग रहे उनके तरीके अलग हैं उनके तरीके फर्क है यू नो लाइक अब नाउ आई हैव माय वेज आई लाइक टू डू इट बाय सटली बट मेकिंग अ पॉइंट मेकिंग श्योर देयर इज अ पॉइंट आई थिंक दैट दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट यू जस्ट सेड क्योंकि कभी-कभार ये हो जाता है बिकॉज़ द थिंग इज देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ एंगर या खवातीन के साइड पे एंड मतलब हु हु इन देयर राइट माइंड इज गोइंग टू ब्लेम देम but kabhi kabhar your methods actually take away from the goal yeah you know what i mean yeah. like sometimes if you you there is such a thing as protesting too hard yeah you know it is i mean a would be a, a like for me a protest for me would be a protest what is a protest like you know you're just protesting you have a goal in mind a protest for me will not be responding to other people no you know um not reacting to other people no women in pakistan and everywhere else are fired up because we've had enough yes you know In Pakistan it's just it's been so horrible I mean start I will start from sport to any field in the world to our honor killings to um our all these big words and and the stuff that women are going through mm-hmm. every day every day But wouldn't you argue Bajra ke aapka jo aapki zindagi hai that's been a form of protest of course right ever since yeah you know i mean for me obviously yeah. since 11 you know yeah. uh, fighting with the family extended yeah. family who should we say why yeah तो अदर्स फ्राम अदर फील्ड देव जस्ट हैड इनफ मतलब थक थक नहीं जाता बंदा थक जाना चाहिए मेरे ख्याल एग्जैक्टली द सोल्स ऑफ दीज वुमेन हु आर एट द औरत मार्च आर टायर्ड यू नो आई जस्ट स्ट्रॉगली फील दैट एंड आई डू रिप्रजेंट अ वुमेन इन पाकिस्तान हु डज नीड दैट सपोर्ट फ्राम अ मैन एनी मैन एंड आई डू सल्यूट मैन हु आर इन्वॉल्व इन सोर ऑफ एलिवेटिंग देर वुमेन and supporting them they and should the cause. Though, you know, yes, like, they should though you know like they should matlab kabhi koi khaas baat to nahi exactly like uh, you know ek banda khana bana raha hai to bahut achhi baat hai you know just be an equal partner that's yeah. what that's what a woman wants um if you talk about partnerships that yeah. is uh-huh. and you know if you're at a workplace you know just treat pay pay them the same amount they went to the same school yeah. same as the fight with me when i talk about football and inequality is that सुबह के दो घंटे शाम के दो घंटे नेशनल टीम पे हम भी वही घंटे लगा रहे थे ट्रेनिंग भी हम वही कर रहे थे 
फिर भी आप पैसे हमें कम दे रहे हैं अच्छा रिमेम्बर लाइक वन यू वर गेटिंग थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज मैन वर गेटिंग so like it's that's a large percentage it that's is a, a large it's deficit coffee it is uh-huh. it is uh-huh. right and uh, um situations at the camp are like man but like you know changes have been made and you know things are getting better but wohi hai na ki um kya kam tha fifa ranking pe hum better the paise phir bhi aap hame kam de rahe the you know like, comparing to the men's team right sure sure so that's what i take to the orat march or like you know any or like um if i go to the orat march or like um that's that's my point of view of why i protest why why do you think you ke maine kafi ye dekha hai and meri apne bhi ek aad bar bahas ho gayi thi lekin wo is baat pe hui thi ki they were like ke yaar har koi aa sakta hai except cisgendered males that's what i am you know what i mean like but i i don't like i want to help and stuff ke wo ek aur bahas thi lekin why is there so much tension if they just want to go out and have this meeting matlab एन पेंडेमिक के बीच में हर चीज के तो धरने लग गए एक इस वाले धरने से मसला क्यों है आपके ख्याल में वही वही इस नीड मलोन दे जस्ट नीड अ रीजन टू पुट दिस डाउन दे जस्ट दे जस्ट नीड एन एक्सक्यूज टू पुट द वुमेन डाउन गेट दिस बिकॉज़ इवन लास्ट ईयर द द द द द द मेरा जैसे मेरी मर्जी द फ्रेज या राइट इट वाज इट वाज उसको इतना उछाला गया इतनी उसकी उस इतने अजीब तरीकों पे हर न्यूज़ चैनल पे उसको उछाला जा रहा था एंड आई एम जस्ट लाइक you guys are missing the point but but okay yes they are right, right? but also mera hmm. jism meri marzi is existentially a true statement you know kyunki mere jism pe aur kiski marzi exactly it shouldn't be spoken out it shouldn't be uske naare nahi lagne chahiye ho nahi chahiye nahi chahiye the kyunki matlab you know pehle se aap samjho to zarur hi nahi padni chahiye thi and you what because if you're saying mera jism meri marzi nahi hai then you are you advocating slavery because you get it's very slippery then you know it like, is you, what are you talking about here then mera jism meri marzi nahi hai to matlab phir slavery abolish nahi honi chahiye thi वही वही और इट्स जस्ट ये स्लेवरी की बात आ रही है फिर उसके बाद ही आपका डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस आ जाता है इतना ज़्यादा टू द पॉइंट ऑफ मेरा जैसे मेरी मर्जी वट आई गॉट फ्राम इट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस रिप्रजेंट एनी वन इज दैट वो हक जो है ना एक औरत का अपनी जिसम पर वो उसी का हक होना चाहिए रहे बचपन से आप बड़े होते हैं देर इज यू आस्क अ वुमेन आई आई डोंट नो इफ वी कैन स्पीक अबाउट दिस बट इफ यू आस्क अ वुमेन इफ यूज बिन सेक्शली अब्यूज शी हैज दिस इज द डे एन एज वी लिव इन यस कि एक कोई नहीं होगी जिसको नहीं तो वो अभी जो अभी सब आए ये सब थक गए हैं कि यू नो सब के साथ ये हुआ है दे ट्राइंग टू नॉट लेट दिस हैपन टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन दर आर कमिंग अप उनका तो टाइम खत्म है ना अभी यू नो दे वॉन्ट सेफ स्पेस टू हैंग आउट एट अब्रॉड और नॉट अब्रॉड लाइक आउट साइड ऑफ द हाउस एक्सक्यूज मी विदाउट हैविंग बीन कैट कॉल्ड और वट यू नो लाइक स्टॉप ऑब्जेक्टिफाइंग वोमेन इज काइंड ऑफ लाइक वट आई थॉट इट वॉज वेर मुझे भी बोला था कि ये शॉर्ट्स में फुटबॉल खेल रहे हो इधर आज के बाद नहीं आना वो ये बंदा जो था नहीं तो फुटबॉल और किस चीज़ में खेलो एग्जैक्टली सो लाइक यू नो इफ यू आस्क अ क्रिकेट प्लेयर भाई शॉर्ट्स में खेलो तुम लोग नहीं खेल सकते इट्स इट्स यूनिफॉर्म यू कैन आस्क अ पायलट टू फ्लाई इन लाइक अ धोती यू नो यू नो सो वो अब मतलब इस तरह की चीज़ें हैं आई मीन यू नो सो या आई जस्ट फील लाइक इट्स सो ईजी द मैसेज इज सो सिंपल we just complicated for no reason it's very basic you I know think. it's, it's very, very basic. basic it's a very they don't attack men they're just calling out their own jo bhi unke masle hain like mm-hmm. at the march you go nobody's attacking a man mm-hmm. like in words of any kind they're just mm-hmm. speaking of their own experiences they're just speaking of what they want the change to be like and everything and, and even if they were to attack men ठीक है ना व्हाट दे आर डूइंग इज अटैकिंग मेन थ्रू आर्ग्यूमेंट ना या सो देन प्रेजेंट अ बेटर वन ना या इतना आपको exactly. इतना मैं बेहतर हूँ ना तो दिन प्रेजेंट अ बेटर आर्ग्यूमेंट इफ यू कैन अगेन मेरा ख्याल तो ये था कि आप इट्स अ डे ऑफ जस्ट वैलिडेशन एंड गिविंग वॉइस टू पेन एंड रेज राइट व्हाई कैन यू जस्ट लेट देम हैव इट या हाँ करो बस ये कुछ मतलब मोस्ट पीसफुल मेरे ख्याल में मतलब दे जस्ट प्ले म्यूजिक एंड शिट दे प्ले म्यूजिक एंड स्टफ इस्लामाबाद में लास्ट ईयर आई थिंक देर वॉज लाइक it was so off the way they had planned it um not the orat march situation but jo permissions mili dusri lali jo march gayat march is what it was called so idhar se ek aari idhar se ek aari beech mein tent lagaya hua what are you trying to do here you know it's in your control why don't you let this happen very peacefully as it was happening तो वही है ना वही वो इसको कहते हैं क्या पाकिस्तानी लैंग्वेज में तीली लगाना आग लगाना तीली लगाना तीली लगाना तो ये जरूरत नहीं है ये सब करनी यू नो अभी आप देखेंगे आई डोंट नो इफ दिस फायर्स अप अगेन ऑन टीवी 
you know it, i mean last year on tv it was every news channel you open wo political char page chakle hoti hain usme ye discuss ho raha hota tha kya mera jism hona chahiye meri um, mazi <laughs> you know like <laughs> um ye to kya hai galat hai ye maashra aisa kharab hai i'm just like ab isko uchhal kyun rahe hain uh-huh. bahut simple message hai yes isko samjhe uh-huh. aur inko karne do jo kar rahe hain uh-huh. aur kuch mang hi nahi rahe nahi you know nahin. aapka uh, kya bolu ab wo sheher band karke baith jate hain mahino 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 wo chale you know all of these things that are happening in this country uh-huh. ek aurat awaaz uthati hai to aap usko abhi bhi daba rahe hain yes you know jibran nasir once made a very interesting point to me he's like yaar dekho kazi hota ye hai ki what they're trying to do is they're trying to avoid doing any work yeah right so if they don't sensationalize mera jism meri marzi mm-hmm. then it will be about actually changeable things actionable things yeah. that will be presented to them like yeah. what like a uh, workplace harassment yeah. that's actionable exactly. no but mera mera jism meri marzi is an existential debate honi yeah. chahiye nahi honi chahiye exactly that's it's it's eyewash is what it is right and i was like who oh, so cool yeah i you mean know? it is what it is i mean i don't know i'm just waiting on it so our championship starts 8th march also inshallah khair sir and it's in karachi so i'm just going to try and get all these women to watch come come watch our game and just kind of have us yeah i was thinking it. about this on my way here actually uh-huh. you know to kind of um, also because i think it's the perfect time it's going to be women's day it's going to be our at march situation and it's going to be the national championship kick off for women So I just feel like national championship what team do you play for I play for the army Ooh yeah, fantastic yeah. is that a good team, team. Uh it's getting it's a lot better now than it was before but I think it's a good team Yeah I'm I'm jab chota tha hum jab every time you would play against the army ki team uh-huh. wo bahut rough hote the yaar <laughs> So they pro so udhar udhar bhi They work mar rahe hain Exactly so so wo hota hai ki um ab these players they're playing against uh body teams you know these players are on the national teams wow, okay. right so yeah. um the be- basketball team like so inki apni jo departments ki rivalry hoti hai na wo bahut zyada hoti hai bahut khatarnak hoti hai so ye choti teams ko ye nahi idhar aage piche dekhte hi nahi hai you know mm-hmm. we have a six, seven foot man on, on the basketball team and in like uh, in the army team and like you know six foot tall and like mm. they've been playing for years mm-hmm. you know so like ye chote mote thudde unko koi fark nahi padta nahi fark padta sahi baat hai and and i suppose that's the kind mm-hmm. of toughness you want to have i think that would be beautiful mm. just to have the orth march convene at a football game okay <coughs> like yaar bas wo dusre elements jo hote hain ha ha i know i know you're getting wo, yeah yeah wo allah rehm kare bas bhai i mean you you don't even football aap na dekho na ha mardo ko wahan se cordon off kar do <laughs> i'm game dude i'll just ha. sit at home like i usually ha. do it's ha. making no difference to ha. me right ha. 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 just just uh, No, no, no. It's I don't know how it's gonna run with the whole pandemic situation, the the games. But um, I would love some representation of football, uh, you know, getting out there this time around. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm going to do something. Will it be broadcasted digitally and stuff? It might be. Yeah. 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 Last time it was on PTV, I think. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But like digitally, it was on. It was digital too. I think this time around, definitely, it's going to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or your, you know how you said you play for your club and stuff. They pay you. Yeah. So and it's decent. Better I mean, than the national team. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> But it's also like you know, it's contractual. Okay. So a player who's contractually signed, I know there's like. Um, I mean, it, I have to represent them, uh, but there's also not a better option there for me either. I used to play for a club called Balochistan United before this, mm-hmm. and they don't play anymore. And the only, um, I think, good team, the only team that because a player needs to make money even if they're not playing. That's it. Through the pandemic, I was being paid without yeah. having to play. That's beautiful. So, I like for an athlete, that's everything, you know. Everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it kind of eases you out, and like, so then you can actually focus on sport. You know, if your bills are being taken care of, if stuff is managed, then you can focus and like, you know. Um, so right now, my focus is. I think I leave next next week for Islam, but start Khairs training. Yeah. 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 And so, like, that's down to playing, playing, and um, you know, I know I get paid. Other teams, other clubs, they don't play. They don't pay. If, if you're not a, playing. If you're not playing. Um, some clubs don't even pay if you're playing what <laughs> most of them uh it's, that's the system in pakistan clubs don't have money you know there's no there's no brands that are supporting or you know have back of these uh how would we go about getting brands on how would we do it if the do brand we co- contact uh, marketing agencies what, what do we yeah you do? could get marketing agencies but then also you have to be good enough for a team to for a, for a sponsor to get on board with you uh-huh. you know i mean nobody wants to put in money on a team that's not good enough fair you know what i mean fair. so now i feel like the if i mean entirely the caliber of sport needs to build up you know it, it is getting better it's no? getting better in football yeah. um like i said in cricket everybody's throwing in money like you know yeah 
Yeah. Everything they have, they're just like all yours. Yeah. You know. Um. So I feel like we need to bring football at a point, at a at a level where you know we do attract a lot of attention. That's it, right? Um, yeah. And so with hopefully this um, this this national championship and the Inshallah. broadcasting and stuff will change things. Allah ki hukum se. Well, Hajra, this has been. Absolutely fantastic. It has been great. It has been wonderful. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I don't know. Matlab, I don't know if you need me to say this, but you are an inspiration to so many <laughs> people, so. right? And um, I thank you. I think uh, you're absolutely needed. You're thank very you. required. Thanks, thanks for Badi, matlab, yeah, yeah. And um, I'm rooting for you. Inshallah, <laughs> Allah karega jeet jayegi. Aap log or and the academy and all those things. It, it, these are wonderful initiatives. Uh, any any final thoughts? Apna Instagram agar to upload karegi. Uh-huh. Like any other final thoughts that you would like to share? No, I mean I would just you know if there's any young ones watching, if there's any uh, parents watching, if there's anybody watching for the girls, I would say or the boys, I would say just take the bull by the horns. Mm-hmm. And uh, if there's something you you if you find your your true north, just follow it, and everything's gonna fall in place for you. Inshallah, it happens. Like you know that you need to trust. You need to have faith in your work. And for the parents, trust your trust your kids with their abilities. Sure. And for all the brands, put in money in football. Put in money in football. Put your money in football. <laughs> and 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 you Bring are in, on Instagram. I'm on Instagram as Hajra Khan dot fourteen. Dot fourteen. Yeah. Uh, Facebook nia. Facebook hai Hajra Khan dot fourteen. On YouTube. No, not yet. Not yet. I'm getting there. That's very good. Uh-huh. It's very good. Um, fantastic. Right. Uh, we will see you soon, inshallah. Again. Thanks for having me, Kazi. Uh, it was my pleasure. Yeah. Hajra Khan, Kazi Akbar. Assalamualaikum. <laughs>